Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Heart. We are more than a channel, we are a community. Heart Squad, I went crazy. Even more crazy than usual because I went to my local Target and I bought every single third party Pokemon card product there was in the store. Bought every single one, cost me over $100, but this is gonna be a test to see if we can trust these third party products. So I want you guys to please leave a like and comment in the comment section after you're done watching me open all of these. And I have a lot over here. Let me know if you think we can trust these products. But in the meantime, tomorrow's video, because today is Friday, I will have an exclusive interview and in opening with the one and only Gary from Pawn Stars, AKA King Pokemon. You know the one with the $1 million listing on eBay full of Charizards? Yes, that is the guy, Gary, an amazing collector in the Pokemon card community. And he will be in a 30 minute long, amazing video showcasing some of his collection. You are not gonna wanna miss it, Heart Squad. That is tomorrow's video, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be ready, Heart Squad. It is gonna be amazing. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. So, we have lots and lots of third-party products to come. These were all purchased from Target. These are, I believe Target is the only place that you are actually able to get these products. I'm holding this one on screen because it says two packs, one foil, one break card. In this one, three cards, it says three Pokemon TCG booster packs and one foil promo cards. And you're asking me, how can you tell the difference between an official product? Well, this is actually, I, okay, never mind. This is an official product, so that was kind of a bad start, but the ones I, I grabbed this one because it didn't look like it was official, and then I'm like, wait, this has the Pokemon name on it. So actually, this is an this is a perfect example of why of how to tell the difference. It doesn't say Pokemon on the cover. You won't see the Pokemon logo on it, other than the product on the inside. Usually, they'll, have, they'll look like this. They'll look like this one that says one pack. They'll have like a combo or something like that, and. They're made by the Farfield Company, or distributed by, because obviously these are real Pokemon cards, they're not fake, but they are made by the Farfield Pokemon Company. It says, the products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer or purchased from a secondary market and repackaged for resale sales by the Farfield Company in Iowa. So you'll notice, and it'll say like what it has in each, but we have plenty over here. Uh, I think maybe not all of them now that I'm looking at it because I just went really fast through Target. It was like a speed run at Target. Uh, these two, I will still open up in this video and you can even let me know if you think these are worth it or not or if you pulled something. They have the two Pokemon logos on it. And then we of course have probably the worst product in all of the Pokemon card game, the Ultimate Five Collection. This box is absolutely terrible. What do you know? It's made by the Farfield Company. Of course, it would be made by the Farfield Company. So, I have lots to open up. I'll leave them as a mystery for the rest of them of what I'll be opening up. I'll do it one at a time. And then, if we have time at the end of this video, I have a special mystery package from a special Heart Squad member that I probably will still open up regardless of time, but because it deserves the time. So anyway, this first one, two packs, one foil, one break card. So they updated it to break cards, which are worth the whole 25 cents probably, not even that. Uh, and it just says what it has. So we'll go ahead and start opening this up. And as always, please let me know if you think we can trust. What is it? Oh, that always happens. Or at least I have this little cool plastic. That's pretty cool. So before we well, can see that's a Fates Collide pack. And this one is obviously an Evolutions. And by the way, they don't come with all the same packs. They usually come with different packs. Um, did I just did it pretty fast? So okay, well there you go. You get a Crobat Crobat break card. Is very very. It's, it's okay. There's there's worse break cards out there, and it looks like when you look at the condition of them, because you know with these secondary products like this, they say they get them from who knows where they get them from. So it's good to see that the condition of that card was great. This one's a little bit not as good with the top of it. This is gonna be the hollow. What is it gonna be? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's a Floet. 
At least it's a reverse holographic rare card, but when they mean foil card, they're really stretching that. That's like bad right there. It's just a reverse holographic card, which makes me think hopefully people have out there have actually gotten holofoil cards in these things, or holographic cards. So, those are the two cards that come in that one. By the way, that one was $10, I believe it said. So, $10 US dollars, Evolutions Pack, and a Fates Collide Pack. Now, obviously, the pools that you get in each of the packs are going to differ for every single person, but it will be nice and make it somewhat worth it, especially if we pull maybe a Full Art Mega Charizard EX, maybe? All right, here is the code card for that. And uh, there is no Cast the Energy game. More to come later. So we'll just go ahead and get a little dose of Pokemon nostalgia. All right, Poliwhirl, Full Heal, Porygon, Doe Duo, Ponyta, Nidoran Male, Seal, Diglett. The reverse is a Poliwag. It's cool how they do the holofoil on the reverses here. And a Mewtwo non-holographic rare card. Still cool. I know Mewtwo was a lot of people's favorite Pokemon, or at least favorite Pokemon card in the uh, base set, so it's pretty cool. Alright, we got the old man himself, a Mega Alakazam. The, uh, full, one of the full art Mega Alakazam cards for Fates Collide uh, is probably one of my favorite cards in the Pokemon card game in general, at least in the newer sets, because it is very colorful and it is just very, very cool. You'll have to check it out, so. Alrighty then, no guess the energy game for this one. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. I want two packs in this one. Let's make it worth it. Ben Spoon. That's a premonition that we're going to get something good. Loudred. Diglett. Looking like he's on something. Mincino. Coughing. Volibay. Volibay. Solosius Whismer. And a holographic. That is a holographic, but you can barely tell from the holofoil. It is a white Kiram holograph. There you go. You can kind of see when I go like that, but that is like, ugh. I mean, it's a really cool looking card. Love it. Blizzard burn. Feel the burn. White Kiram holographic card. So that is actually a holographic card right there. So pretty nice. That was the first one. So hopefully y'all are keeping tabs on it. We'll go with this next one. This one pack plus one foil plus 20 sleeves, because obviously we are going to pull 20 foil cards out of this one pack. Really, really, I mean, I guess if you want some sleeves, and that's a good way to get sleeves, so it is guaranteed to contain one pack, one foil pack, and 20 sleeves, also made by the Farfield Company. This, I believe, was $4.99, so with taxes over five US dollars. And you just get one pack. Uh, we get sleeves, so we'll take a look at the sleeves first. These are literally from a Shining Legends Elite Trainer box. <laughs> And then they just repackage it and put it in this thing. So, I mean, we can all use more sleeves, right? Am I right? <laughs> okay, so again, we get a foil card for this one. Uh, would y'all like to take guesses out there in the audience if this is actually going to be a reverse holographic or an actual holofoil card? I want to say it's an actual holofoil. It is! But it's, of course... A promo. You can tell right there, a little star that says promo. But it's nice! A, it's because it's foil and I got it right, yay. A Decidueye Holographic Foil card. Even though it's a promo. And uh, we'll take a look just at the condition, just because this is an analysis to see if we can trust these products from Target. So, there's some white, there's some whitening right there, but the, you know, the card was able to move around the package, so who knows what it was. Breakpoint. And it was funny because I was just at Walmart today and went through the Pokemon card section because that's what I do. They restocked it with tons and tons of Breakthrough and Breakpoint Elite Trainer boxes. Now you're saying, yeah, I've seen it before and I have, but I've never seen Breakthrough boxes, the blue Elite Trainer boxes there in a while. Breakpoint, I've seen a lot. Breakthrough, I haven't. And they're all neatly organized. So don't know why they have all this excess inventory, but they're putting it out. So, who knows what they're going to have. Bayleaf, Max Potion, Electivire, Slowpoke. I actually really like that card. That's a good one. Got the duck lights, the shelter in the background, and a Slowpoke. Just chilling out. <laughs> it's drowsy. I look good today. My name's Drowsy. Drowsy can, looks like the Pokemon that can have its own show. 
Shelder, Krikatot, Ratata, Trubbish. It's a pretty cool looking Trubbish, like the artwork. And Alexray. That's a pretty good card. Snarl, HP 140. So there we go. Luxray. Alrighty then. Moving on to the next one. Of course, I did notice the Burning Shadows pack, so we get the Lean Hearts pad in it. Trademark Guess the Energy Game. But this one comes with two packs, one foil card, ten cards, one coin, and uh, there's the coin right there. So obviously you can just go like that and tell what the packs were, at least that may be Guardians Rising, I'm not exactly sure. Um, and there's the back, so you can see what it comes with, or what it doesn't come with, which is, which is hopes and dreams of actually getting a fair deal. I think this one was... I think this one was $9.99. I'm pretty sure this one was $9.99, so... Uh, be my guest, and, and we'll see if it's worth it or not, so... I'm... if we get the Hyper Air Charizard in this one Burning Shadows pack, and Guardians Rise. Yeah, so Guardians Rising. At least there are two Sun and Moon packs, so that is a that is a massive plus for those. There is the coin. Ooh, ah! And uh, let's see if these cards are worth it or not. So we have a Machop, which for some reason was turned behind. And uh, a bunch of commons. Yay! Drifloon. Pokemon Fan Club, which I do like that card, but uh, it's just uh, uncommon, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, Gumi, Togepi... Carvana, na na na. A energy, energy. Oh, yay, it's the energy gang. And then, oh, there's the foil card. It's a reverse rare holographic Kangas Kong card. Okie dokie. So that was pretty pointless on the extra 10 cards. But I'm excited about these Sun and Moon packs. So let us see. We can get that Hyper Rare Charizard, but we do get to do the Guess the Energy game. So, any guesses out there? I'm going to say Psychic. I got Fairy. It's okay. I know there's like, right now, there's like thousands of people out there that keep on saying, I'm doing the Guess the Energy game, Leonhard. Thanks. I love it. <laughs> so, it's 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 catching on. Simisage, Tormenting Spray, Whirlipede, Dupiter, Togodomaru, 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 Wimpod, Meowth. Hashtag Magic Heart Army. A Deancy. So that is a reverse rare holographic card. Holofoil card. Because we're opening up second party products. And the rare is a Lycanroc. Which is actually pretty cool. Lycanroc cards are pretty cool. So Deancy, reverse rare holographic. Makes me very hungry for like a lollipop or something. Or like cotton candy. Maybe because of the pink color. Not exactly sure. Maybe I'm just hungry. All right, next up. Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, um, probably not one of my favorite. It's a it's an okay set. Uh, I think I can like speak for most people, and it's probably not everybody's favorite set. But you know what we get to do? The Leonard trademark pattern against the Energy Game Fire. All right, Fighting Energy, uh, Wismascot, Hakamo O, Matang, Machop, Rockruff, Beldum, Whalmer. Gumi, Whalmer again, but in reverse hollow form, and Lilligant, non-holographic rare. So, curious to, can't wait to read y'all's comments, uh, letting me know what y'all think about these. Ooh, this is a doozy, you're gonna love this one. Five packs, three foil cards, and it's just for $19.99, come on down. It's guaranteed to have all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Farfield is amazing. We do not pack our stuff improperly. Buy it right now. So, with that all said, it comes in this very cool red packaging. I always do this when I open up blister packs or anything of the sort. I would like not to hurt the cards on the inside. Eh. Almost there. There we go. That's why I don't bite my nails. It's to open up blister packs like this that make it very difficult. So, put that over there. That over there. And let's see. Ooh, this, did it say it comes with three cards? I don't even remember now. Anyway, first one. L oh, yeah, three foil cards. What a means of thinking. All right, Litleo. That's pretty pointless. Polywag. At least we're getting all the types. Leaf Energy? No. Rotom. All right, so... Rilla tech in the uh, foil context. 
to a whole new uh, to a whole new meaning there. So there we go. Let's take a look at the five packs. I do see a burning shadow, so that's nice. Evolutions, breakthrough, burning shadows. Yay! We get two burning shadows packs. I'm actually very excited about that. So we'll open up the uh, oldest to uh, newest. How about we go in order sometimes? Leonhard can go in order sometimes. He knows how to count or tell what series are older or not. No guess the energy game for these, but of the other ones will. All right, here we go. Seeking, Starmie, Curlia, Meowth, Bronzor, Skidumaloo, my darling, Staryu, Paris. I have not seen that card in a while. Paris, looking good, nice haircut. A floor geese. Is that a reverse rare? Come on. Yes, it is. But what's even nicer is behind this card because I'm seeing something. A smeargle. Okay. It's a smeargle. It's gotta love the artwork, right? Okay. All right. Well, that was a failed bit right there. Reverse holographic. I swear I thought there was something behind that card. There wasn't. All right. Evolutions. Venusaur is, uh, wait, is there even a Venusaur holographic in Evolutions? There's not. I know there's a Venusaur EX, there's a Mega Venusaur EX. There ain't no even Venusaur holographic. That would have been cool. No guess the energy game, of course. Let's see if we can get that Mega Charizard. Maintenance. Polywhirl. Ch Ooh, is this a premonition? Could be a premonition. Probably not. Like, odds are, like, astronomically not. But, but you never know. We'll be excited about it. Magnemite. Onyx. And, oh my gosh. That is very close. That is very, very close to the Mega Charizard EX full art. But this is the Mega Charizard EX ultra rare. That is gorgeous. 13 out of 108. That was actually really, really creepy. Uh, it's pretty creepy actually. So uh, Mega Charizard EX, wow. That was like our first actually pull of the day. Like, pats on the back around. You out there, pats on the back. That was fantastic. And we're not even at the best packs yet. Sun and Moon's Guardians Rising. And then we get two Burning Shadows. But you know what? They get the Lean Hearts patented trademark. Guess the energy game for each of these. So I'm gonna go with Fairy. Ooh, Mega Charizard EX. And then a fairy energy that, like, I'm just on a roll right now with all one good pulls in a row. Sligoo, Multi Switch, Sableye, Petalil, Chansey. I haven't seen that card in a long time. Chansey's singing. Skip the Malu, Gothita, Alolan Vulpix, which is promo card, Fletchling, Vanillish, and a Heliolisk. Cool. Cool beans. Speaking of beans. Actually, because Bean starts with B, there's Burning Shadows right there, so. Burning Shadows! Let's see what we can do. Don't let me down. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? Are y'all seeing this right now? Where's the code card? What the? I've never seen a pack like this, where the code card is misplaced like that. Secondary products, how dare you. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, See if we could do the patented trademark guess the energy game leaf. This is so weird uh, Hopefully y'all are following along right now because right now this is could be this is an air pack so far how it was packaged So we'll just go through really fast Yada that yeah, there's the toxic croak and there's the energy really really weird Rebombi and a Cribrawler well, that was a terrible pack. Not only packaged wise, but the cards inside. Burning Shadows, the second pack. Don't let me down. You hear me? You hear me, Pokemon? Don't let me down. All right. Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows. There's the code card. Guess the energy game. I'm going to say uh, blah, 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 blah. water. I was going to say fire. I promise you. Like, not lying. I was going to say fire. Curlia. Livia Mun. Lunatone. Hoot, there it is. Meryl, Porygon Kamehameha Wave, Charmander, Sad, Mortal, Stuffle, and Beware. Okay, Beware! We ain't done, folks. We still have actually like a lot of stuff. Wow. All right, so we still have these non-second, like official products to open up. We still have the this, which I'll open up now. 
And of course, the world's worst Pokemon product, the Ultimate Collection 5. So, two packs, 40 sleeves, and they even made the 40 even more crazier because you're getting 40 instead of 20 like you did in this other one over here. So, of course, it's a, another blister pack. So, what was this one? This one probably was like $10 or something. I mean, sleeves are just so hard to come by. Oh, the red ones. They're extra, extra basic for any ba basic people out there. If you like red, these are your- wow, this is like really difficult to open up, oh my gosh. What? Stop being this difficult to open up? Hold on. Like, I can do this. There we go. I think I just like compl okay, these are just sleeves, so they should be- Okay, alright, looks like it's Fates Collide pack, so Fates Collide. The- At least they're wrapped, I guess? Here are the sleeves. They're really, really basic red sleeves. And they're like the bad ones, because they have like this little dot on it. Don't get the ones with the dot on it. But there we go. So 40 sleeves. Yay. Evolutions with Mega Chars. Now, now it's safe to say we're gonna get a Mega Charizard EX full art. Just to complete the set, of course. Alright. Three cards, no guess the energy game. Show me the money. Coughing. Misty's determination, which is also a full art trainer card in this set. Rattata, Caterpie, Magnemite, Voltorb, Electabuzz, who used to be a rare. Now it's, why do I keep going like that? Now it's just a common. Fortunate rest in peace, Electabuzz's rarity. And a Polyrath, holographic card, memories. At the corner of my mind, Polyrath, holographic card, oh. It's beautiful. Some seriously, like tons of memories flowing, like the water in the back of this card. <laughs> I'll be here till Sunday. All right, Fates Collide. It's actually, it's a, it's a really nice set. I like Fates Collide. I'll, I'll admit it. I may have not said I liked it in the past, but I am not sucking up to you, Fates Collide pack. I am not. Give me a Mega Alex Sam, please. Full art, be nice. Mega Catcher, Duosion, Dicklepuff, Snivy. Bambi in the Co-Bambis, Carbink, Riolu, Coughing, wow, Coughing got a nice haircut right there, so that's pretty terrible, and a Mega Altaria EX. Didn't get the Mega Charizard, but that is okay, well he's not in that set, so that's probably a good thing. Didn't get the Mega Alakazam I was trying to think of, but Mega Altaria EX. All right. These haven't been the worst, I gotta say. Especially if you have a fetish for sleeves or something like that. All right, we have this. The Ultimate Collection 5 box, and it has it for $15. $15 you're never ever gonna get back in any so regard when you open up this box. But it comes with tons of stuff. Two coins, one EX card, 60 cards. One oversized card, two online reward, a pin, randomly inserted Mega EX card, a booster pack. So not, you get one booster pack, you get a little battle deck. That's pretty terrible. And there's the back of the box. Also made by Farfield's gonna like watch this video and they're gonna like call me up and they're gonna be like, no, we are not this bad, I promise you. So there's the mega size card, which I'll just go ahead and show. Oh, ho ho, from the premium Charizard box. Charizard GX oversized card with move raging out GX because Charizard had a big night last night. Uh, what else is in this? Okay, I see. Here's a code for everybody. Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box code. I don't know if that gives you one. I don't play the online game, so I always give out all my code cards. So I don't know what that gives you. So it could give you another one. Wow. Just... Spreading the wealth over here. Speaking of wealth, gave us a very nice mill tank. It's one of those 60 cards. Hope can y'all be paying attention right now just to let me know. Whoa. Let me know if there actually is everything that it says is in the box because Misa thinks that there isn't. But um whoa. Okay, so this better be this is this is the card on the front, ladies and gentlemen. It better be very special. Oh, it's about the least special it could be. Sorry, Machop. All right. Ooh. Yeah, there's the there's the ultra rare card, a Gengar EX from Phantom Forces with all the jello beans on the front of it. So hey, 
Not too bad there. Gengar is pretty cool. Gengar is actually like a really, really popular Pokemon. And I got Gengar behind me over there. So Gengar, welcome to the party. Ooh, a Shaman coin. I believe this was from, there was like a box or something and it had a Shaman stuff and like promo card and a coin. I think it was. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It's a little shade of green. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I don't know if anybody really like. I've never seen this before. From the uh, from Anaheim, 2017, and there's a little like, what's going on with Pikachu's eyes? It's a little green Pokeball. So there it is. So I have not seen that pin before. It was actually pretty nice. All right, still not worth it, but uh, we'll check this out. The Keldeo deck, Battle Arena decks. Welcome to the pointless. Oh, it's all sealed. It's all sealed. Oh, let's open this up. Just, oh, it actually has an opening. That actually made that like much faster than what it was actually going to take to open that up. So I'll see if we can just go through this pretty fast. At least this deck. Because it's full of water energy. So at least they're all reverse holographic form. That's pretty nice. Ooh. Keldeo EX. Who would have knew that you would have gotten that in that? So it's all water energies. Verse Seeker. Ultra Ball, Tierno. Looks like these are from like maybe Roaring Skies? I'm not really exactly. Shauna of the Dead. We haven't seen that card in a while. Rough Seas. George Clooney would love that card. Rare Candy. Professor Sycamore. Birch. Lysander. Car Whoa. Karen. Put some more clothes on, Karen. This is a PG family friendly channel. Escape Rope, Dive, Dive, Bianca, Archie's Ace in the Hole, Reg Ice, Articuno, Ancient Trait. That is a reverse rare, or just, a, yeah, Arti uh, Ancient Trait rare card. Lapras found home in like San Francisco or something. It's already smog. Watch out. Octillery, ooh, Octillery. I remember when the Octillery holographic cards were pretty cool. Phoebus is like in Australia or something. Milotic. Squirtle. Now that is a card I can appreciate a lot, especially when there's three of them. Hashtag Squirtle Squad. War Turtle shooting like a Kamehameha wave or something. Ooh, that is really cool. I have not seen those cards like in a long time. Wow. From 2012. A little blast in the past right there. So got two Blastoise ones over there. Very, very nice. And of course, it comes with a Forbidden Light Pack. Let's check it out. I think we should check it out. All right, Forbidden Light, we get to do the Guess the Energy game. I'm actually very surprised it came with a newer pack, so. Uh, Leaf. Lightning. I forgot about that. I also forgot about Metal. Well, they're all on my Teespring shirt, the Guess the Energy game shirt. Have you seen it? Probably go check out Teespring if you haven't gotten it yet. Pair of car keys. Goodbye, Magnemite. Binacle, Flabebe, Helioptile, Fennekin, Unit Energy, and a Vivillon, non-holographic rare card. So up to this point, Heart Squad, we have opened every single secondary or third party or whatever you want to call it, Pokemon product box blister pack from Target. We still have these, which do not count anymore, but I will open them in their entirety right now. That is six more packs in a, this mystery card. So we're going to be opening both of these up right now, Heart Squad. But you got to let me know in the comment section after please leaving a like. Do you think these products are worth it? The other ones? And have you pulled anything from those products? Please let me know in the comment section now. But still obviously keep the video on. So... We'll go ahead and start opening these up. And this is just while I'm opening this up really, really fast. Give your battles a boost. Remember, tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, Gary from Pawn Stars making the only channel on YouTube where he does interviews and just is an amazing person is here. So get ready for that. Cosmog, of course, it's a promo card because it has to be a promo card, but it does come with. Ooh, me like me like it. Burning Shadows packs. And a Guardian's Rising pack. I kind of, I just want to get right into the Burning Shadows pack because I love it. All right. Hyper Rare Charizard, please. That would like change the way this video swings like entirely. All right. Go with Metal. Ooh, me like even more. That's two Guess the Energy games right in one video. Plumeri. We, then again, we've opened up like tons of products today. Worth over $100. Wobbuffet. Horsey. The things I do. Alolan Grimer. 
Riolu, Cutifly, Dupiter, and a Lucario. That's a nice looking holographic card. Lucario holographic. Very, very nice. And of course, at the very end, I'll go over all the pools again. So stay tuned for that. But we still have like five more booster packs to open up. Hopefully, I'm not sure if I'll have time for the uh, mystery pack, but I'll open it up in another video or the mystery thing that they got me. Uh, Leaf. I should have said dark. What was I thinking? All right, beware. Sligu, Fletchender, Barboach, Rockruff, Clefairy, Ice Cream, Wishy Washy, Mimikyu. Now that is not, that is very nice card. Reverse Holographic Rare, Mimikyu. And Minior with Cosmic Explosion. Nice, knocks itself out. So it's a holographic. Wow, we are actually, these are pretty good. We're doing very well for this one, this first blister pack. And a sun and moon, burning shadows coming up right now. And uh, let's see what we can do. There's the code card for that one. Guess the energy game, I'll say psychic. Ooh, wow, we are on a roll. Here we go. It's your boy Guzma, Solrock. Plumeria, Alolan Grimer, Letiba, Cutifly, Horsey, Venipede, Electabuzz. Still an uncommon and common. And Denver Broncos mascot. There we go. Very nice. Vigorous Dash is the move. Hold on. Getting organized. There's so many cards everywhere. I was putting stuff away over here. It just gets them. All right. Next up. And the final one. Also, do not backstock. Just shake that back. All right, let's uh, see what comes in this one. I enjoyed the other one. This one may be, the other one may have been a newer one. This one looks like it's all old. Fates Clyde Evolutions and a terrible looking, really terrible looking, look at that. Oh, the cutting on that one. Sorry about that, but it's cool. It's promo holographic, yep, yeah, promo. Fates Clyde, we'll start with Evolutions. This is gonna be our last chance to get that mega Charizard, so can you please give me the full art? All right, no guess the energy came for the remainder of this opening, but that's okay, more Pokemon nostalgia. Haunter, energy retrieval, Diglett, Drowsy, Caterpie, Doduo, Pikachu, nice, Nidorino, and Farfetch'd, it's Farfetch'd Rare, No, you're in troubling times when Farfetch is the rare card that you get. All right, last two packs will be Fates Collide. Mega Alakazam, you can treat us to a good time. All right, let's see what we can do. We got the Worm, Scorched Earth Policy, Duosian, Whismer, Gathita, Riolu, Katani, Burmy, Wismascot, and another White Curum. Holographic card. Well then, that is actually the second one that we have pulled today. We are down to the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic heart squad? I am really, really hoping we can. Be sure to let me know if you thought today's opening, the products in it were worth it or not, but I appreciate the likes and I appreciate it a lot. All right, three cards. Let's see if we can end in style. Helix Fossil, The Shin, Strong Energy, Riolu, I'm gonna use my strong hand, Binacle, Bronzor, Burmy, Larvitar, and the final card is a Bronzo. Non-holographic rare. Alrighty then. Got some nice stuff. I'll try to like show you everything like fairly fast. We got the, we got these very nice coins. We got this very cool Anaheim pin. I'll go through the rare cards. If you wait, if you love sleeves, we got so many sleeves that I didn't pull enough good cards to fill them with, but that's okay. And here are the pools: White Kiram, Minior, Lucario Holographic, a very nice Gengar EX card. There was the Keldeo EX that was in that deck, so you can count that. Mega Alterior EX, Polyrath Holographic, a very nice Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions, the back of a Pokemon card, <laughs> Destiny UI, another White Kiram, 
Floored was the reverse. I don't know I'm counting that. And a Crobat break card. Hard Squad, please leave a like. Let me know in the comment section if you think these products were worth it. Get ready. Tomorrow's video, Gary from Pawn Stars makes an appearance not once but twice. It's going to be amazing. My name is Lean Art. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.